Greetings everyone and welcome to episode 4. Why isn't my spell working? I know this is a common uh, thing to do, but this is from my point of view. Number one, Seed of Doubt. Doubt kills at least 75% of all your magical workings. If you go in believing that this isn't going to work, it is not going to work. Now this coincides with overthinking, and that is number two. Depending on how much you give thought about your spell working, it determines the outcome. Uh, pretty much, the more you think about it, the more it loses power. Same thing can be said for talking about your spell. The more you talk about it, the more it loses power. Because you're giving it too much thought. You want to have a limited to no idea at all. Pretty much set it and forget it. And let nature take its course. Number three, flip flopping. Uh, when I wrote this out, this was inspired by a YouTuber's uh, personal BS, and they were always flip flopping. Now, why would your magical work work? If you're a Christian today, and a witch tomorrow. Going in with an ever-changing mindset is a sure sign of unsuccessful outcomes. Because, one, you're disrespecting the gods. First of all, like, oh, I believe in them today. And then the next day, like, oh, they're the devil. And then you come crawling back. Oh, I believe in you again. Why would they help you? You just called them the devil the day before. I mean, seriously. You either believe or you don't believe. Uh, make up your goddamn mind, you know? Uh, number four. Belief. Uh, same with points 1 through 3. If you don't believe or put 100% faith and trust in yourself and in your gods, then why should they put their faith in you? You know, you're coming to them for help. But if you're coming to them like, oh, I don't know, for real, you know, they're not going to waste their time, which is totally different by their standards, by the way. What could be a minute here could be a millennium there, you know. you got to have trust and faith in yourself, so you can put trust and faith in your gods. And number five, set it and forget it. Remember, Aaron? I mentioned that. With full confidence in yourself and your gods, and a full clear mindset, knowing what your god or knowing what your goal is, uh, cast away and clear your mind. Then your magic will be great. Listen to nature around you; it'll let you know during the spell's lifespan. I can say this personally on many occasions that my spells have worked, uh, knowing what I wanted fully, and knowing that it was going to happen, and asking for the, the right God to do so, and believing and trusting in Him that He would bring it, 
and the part about the nature, well, I remember in one of the videos back I made, uh, I had listened to nature after doing the spell. Like, the wind was giving me a message. And just, you could just feel it in the air. That nature was saying, hey, it's working. And that concludes episode four of this series. Uh, episode five will be... Um... Offerings. I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.